colored car. Long time ago, six years old Gatu lived in a city with his parents and grandfather. He had a friend named Bunty whose father was very wealthy. Often he used to pamper Bunty by bringing new toys for him. Whereas Gatu's parents were very poor. They didn't have that much money with them to present Gatu with new toys. Therefore, Gatu had only one old toy car with him. One day, while returning from school, suddenly, on the way, Gatu saw a beautiful red-colored car near his house. After seeing the car, he thought, Oh wow! This car is so beautiful! Whose is this? He ran near the car and picked it up. Then he looked here and there, but nobody was around. There's no one here. So for time being, I shall keep it with me, and when its owner will come searching for it, then I will return this toy to him. Thinking this, he took the car with himself. Now after returning from school, he started playing with it every day. And with time, Gatu forgot that this car doesn't belong to him. Like this, many days passed. And one day, when he was sitting outside his house, two kids named Chintu and Pintu were passing from there. You know, Pintu, my father bought me a very beautiful red-colored car, but don't know where I've lost it. You've lost it? But how? I don't know. I was going to my uncle's house from this way only. But when I reached and checked my bag, I found it was open. Then I'm sure you've lost your car on the way. After hearing their conversation, Gatu understood that the red-colored car which he found outside his house was of Chintu. I completely forgot that one day I have to return this car. With sad heart, he picked up that car and started walking to where Chintu's house. On reaching Chintu's house, he found him sitting outside his house playing with many toy cars of his. After seeing this, he said, Oh wow, Chintu has so many beautiful cars with him. And I have only one car. And that too, so old. Even if I don't return this red car to him, then also it won't make a difference to him. Therefore, I can actually keep this red car with me. Thinking this, he came back to his house with the red car. That evening, as usual, his grandfather was helping him with his homework. Greed is not good at all. Got to? Do you have any idea how bad greed is? No, Grandpa. The meaning of greed is to think someone else thing as if it is your own. But, Grandpa, if we find something very exciting and if we want that thing to become ours, then what's wrong with it? My child's sin is in the way to make that thing to be yours. How come, Grandpa? You know, first of all, greed occurs in our heart. Then to satisfy that greed which has occurred, we resort to nasty ways, like you see, stealing. Then with that small greed which has occurred, we become a thief. And you know that greed is, somewhere or the other, starting point of every evil. Therefore, greed in all the sins is the biggest of all. Grandpa is saying it right. It's due to greed only that I kept Chintu's car with me. And I became a thief. Thinking this, he immediately went to Chintu's house and returned that car to Chintu. Therefore, with Grandpa's wise words, Gatu got to know the real meaning of greed and from that moment on, by controlling his greed, he never did anything wrong.